go. <laughs> Hello and good morning. Today is a fantastic day. We get to go to our last day of dance today of the entire year. You won't go to dance until next year again. <gasps> Yay! We're so excited. And then after that, I get to go and do crew, no, whose class party am I doing? Brexons. I'm doing Brexons class party. I've been room mom for all the kids now, except for Hazy, so I'm gonna do that next year. Today we are going to be watching a holiday movie, having hot cocoa bar, and having a cookie bar. It should be a lot of fun. Hazy really wants to go with me, and I told her that she could. Because we're going to a Christmas party at the school, I decided to wear my shirt, and my shirt cannot decide if I want to be naughty or nice. I guess we'll just be both. This is gonna be a great day. Today we have a lot of fun stuff planned. I have some fun activities for the kids after school and I think they're actually gonna help me walk around the neighborhood and deliver all of our neighbor gifts. We're gonna get this day started. We're gonna head to dance. We're gonna do a party. It's gonna be awesome. We are back from dance. That was a lot of fun. I'm out of breath. We just got back from dance. I need to make some chocolate milk. Some hot chocolate, I should say. I'm gonna use these thermoses that my mom is lending me. I'm so, so grateful because I could not figure out how to get hot chocolate at the kids' school without taking a crock pot full of water to make a mess in my car. I was telling my mom, I was like, what could I do? And we had the thought of these things. We're gonna use them. Then she had an even better idea. She's like, so your dad loved the hot cocoa that we made for the football games. Then he keeps trying to make it and recreate that same taste. He was getting so frustrated he couldn't do it. Well, she said, Mindy, do you wanna know what I did? And I finally just told him to do it. I just bought a gallon of hot chocolate and then just heated it up on the stove and I was like, that's a genius idea. Because I had a friend telling me the other day she was in charge of taking hot cocoa for her neighborhood. She's like, what if I don't mix it right? What if it doesn't taste right? I'm gonna do this idea. It'll taste perfect. I bought three gallons and it's like maybe two or three bucks a gallon. Very affordable. I feel like this is gonna go well. So I'm just gonna throw it on the stove for a minute and warm it up, take it to the kids' school, and hopefully, hopefully, I look like a rock star. Also, you guys, I just have to tell you, at Walmart while I was there, I picked up these flowers. I love having flowers, and we're having all the Binghams over tomorrow, so I just like it to look a little festive. But I have to tell you, so I bought a $9 bunch of flowers, and then I picked up one of these. This is five bucks, not even five dollars, and I thought this would be cute laying on the table, so I bought an extra one of these. I just, I don't know, I thought they were so cute for five dollars to get a mix of all the greens. How fun is that? And it looks all festive, so I stuck some of these in the back here. Here. brought out some of these ones. I stuck them in the front just to have it feel like really fresh and pretty. And then of course today, Mr. Crew told me that they're celebrating his birthday today at school because it's his birthday's in the summer. So I had to pick up donuts. I feel like a lot was thrown at me today. Crew's like, hey, by the way, mom, today we're celebrating my birthday. And I was like, hey son, you should tell me that yesterday. <laughs> we have a lot to take to the school, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really excited. I have filled two pots with chocolate milk and I'm just warming it. My mom says you have to be really careful because you can blanch it. So I've got it just warming really slowly on medium heat. Are you excited for it? Yeah, but I want to see. I'm just gonna continue stirring this quite a bit. I've got these thermoses all open and ready. I'm just gonna use a big giant measuring cup and fill them all and head off to cruise school. I've got everything loaded up, gifts for teachers and for the office ladies. And today while we were at dance, Stephanie and I made up little treats for the lunch ladies because they go above and beyond. I think we're getting things checked off the list for Christmas. Mom has taken off with her Cheaters Hot Chocolate. I'm just kidding. I think it's a brilliant idea. I think that'd be a great name for it though, Cheaters Hot Chocolate. She's taken off with that to go to the school now. I am kind of messing with mom's head here. I have a Christmas gift that I need to pick up that's actually for her. But I told her, hey, I'm gonna be gone for about two and a half hours today on a Christmas errand. It is driving her nuts trying to figure out why on earth I would need to be gone for two and a half hours for a Christmas errand. I can't really reveal to you guys today in this vlog what it is or why, but just to further drive her crazy, I'm gonna bring along the camera, shoot some B-roll of the journey without actually showing the final destination, just to kind of continue to tease her a little bit, get her gears going. How far away did I go? What's out that direction? So just to continue to mess with her, you guys, it's gonna be kind of fun. Come along with me, sort of. I'll go pick up mom's Christmas gift on my two and a half hour Christmas errand.
just barely got home from the kids party and I am back with my thermoses it went amazing so amazing we used two of them I have an entire thermos left and I don't know but I think I'm just gonna put it in the fridge in a container and hope that it will still be fine I had to come home drop this off and now basically go back to the school and get the kids today was our last full day of school before the end of the year I can't even believe that we're gonna go pick them up and celebrate the fact that it is the last full day of school hey guys hi Braxy right guy giving everyone donuts crew <laughs> yeah see you Cam last full day of school this year is that so exciting no Kirby. because I want to stay in school so let's buckle up Kirby did you have extra donuts bud yeah I have three I have successfully returned home from my adventure out into the wilderness nobody really knows where mom jokingly said she checked my location which you can share like on iPhones or something like that she's like so I know exactly where you went and I was like you've got to be kidding me so I seriously went to such great lengths to make this very vague and obscure and then she's like just kidding I didn't <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, nobody knows you guys will find out on Christmas Day and You'll understand why it was so worth it such an epic adventure. Oh my gosh I'm just glad you weren't home when I got home so I could unload the truck because there was so much the flatbed was full Full guys. I'm gonna give you a hint. It's a llama. Okay, so I love llamas. We, <laughs> we are about to go deliver neighborhood gifts right now These are going out to neighbors family friends in the area. We're all family. We're all friends We got a giant stack though bags and bags full loading up the van heading out and then off to do some shopping for cousins we're gonna do shopping for cousins so the kids have also drawn names and they are gonna go buy a gift for their cousin tonight It should be a lot of fun. Go put this on Sarah's porch across the street, Kate. Go right there. Look for cars. Look for you cars. can do Hudson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Next house. Let's go. <laughs> Hazy, perfect delivery shoes. I love them. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one, Hazy, right there. Where's your coat? Let's check out that sunset behind me. That is just beautiful. Okay, neighborhood gifts have been dropped off, delivered. That was quite the haul. Now we're headed in, speaking of hauls, to Walmart real quick. And we're gonna pick out some cousin gifts. So we're here getting some cousin gifts right now. Hi, Hazy. What are you doing? Singing the song that they're playing in the store right now. I love it. Similarly to how we do the adult sibling exchange, they drew names with their cousins and then yes. they each have somebody that they're getting for. One funny story is that one year, I think it was Brexton, had Ava. Or was it Crew? And he didn't want to forget, oh, so he wrote it, it on no. his dresser. Crew had Ava and he didn't want to forget, so he wrote her name on the dresser. So that way he would remember. I think Brexton has Ash. Ashton. Kruby has turbo. Hazy, Hazy wants has, to get for Ava, but she doesn't have we Ava. We do have Lando. So we got a super something special coming for Lando. And then Rye Guy has Ava. So we're here picking out some stuff right now. As you can see, we're wandering through the sports aisle. Turbo's into sports. The twins are into sports. We're going to see what we pick out for them. We're not going to show you guys because they might watch the vlog and see it and spoil the surprise. Yeah. So we're just here doing some shopping. Oh, I just got that catch on video. Oh, that's the swift, quick, cat-like reflexes of Ryler Bingham. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I know that walking out of a Walmart parking lot footage is not the most epic footage, but look at that sunset. That's as magical as Christmas itself. Oh, that might be a little bit of a stretch, Brandon. <laughs> Another great thing about this time of year is you come home and there's often random packages on your doorstep. This one is gigantic. Mom, what is it? It's a kitchen sink. <laughs> it's a literal kitchen sink. Now, I think this is E1, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hold on a sec. We got to show how tough Brexy is. I don't know how you guys are going to fit, though. That is one big sink. That's a lot of dishes that could be left undone. All of that excitement and hustle, nobody noticed the package here for me. Oh, uh, it's just nothing. That's from GoPro. Who would? That's from GoPro. Let's go open that right now. You know how much we love GoPro when everybody, everybody is gathered around this little oh box from there. <laughs> to open it together. This was left on the porch. This is totally unbeknownst to us. We don't know what it is. Last year this time, those ugly sweaters that me and Ragai still rock regularly. They're very comfy, very ugly. They're actually really good looking. I'm thinking might be the same thing. Let's open up and see. All right, guys, drum roll, please. Let's hope it's not fragile. Ready and open. Don't rip anything out. Okay, okay. Happy start. holidays. Oh, wait. From your GoPro family. Oh, my gosh. I love you, GoPro. Oh my gosh, I'm trying on the other game. Okay, we are ready. Daddy, do it. Oh, guys, guess what? <gasps> Fresh new. Oh my gosh. Whoa, these are actually like really dope. <gasps> Wait, are these PJs? Is this Ugly. A onesie? Tell me this is. These are zipped up. These are so Let's awesome. See what they are. Wow, these are like GoPro brand. Like they even have like a GoPro tag on them. Tell me it's a onesie. It is a onesie. It's a onesie. We've been wanting onesies oh, for I don't even know how long. The best part long. is when you have to go poo. There's a button. <laughs> 
There's butt buttons. That has to be mine. That is gigantic. We that are wearing this to the party this I, weekend. Oh yeah. my gosh. Thank you, GoPro. Oh, Taking yeah. it up a notch on the ugly sweater this year with a onesie. Ugly Christmas. We've been talking about these getting a onesie. These are so cool. Actually, this is a small. Wow, look at this. These are gigantic. So this that's is a probably small. My Those size. are huge. That's supposed to be yours. Yeah, that's yours. So is there a giant one in here for me? Wait, seven, eight. Guys, there's ones for everybody. There's one for every kid. Okay, this is extra large. Guys, yeah, the GoPro family you. hooking up the entire GoPro small, family. Small, small, seven, eight. The smallest one's a seven, eight. As we love GoPro. This love is amazing. Thank you, GoPro. You guys are the greatest. Even for thinking of us on the holidays. GoPro, you are the greatest. Thank you so much. There's only one problem with this. They're not ugly. You know we've been doing some secret Santaing in our family, and by the time this video drops, shortly thereafter, secret Santas will be revealed. So I'm gonna actually show you guys what I'm dropping tonight on my secret Santa. I'm the secret Santa of this individual. What I'm dropping on their doorstep tonight, because it's a little bit hilarious, and I had to share it with you guys. First out of the gate, we saw these tonight when we were out shopping, and we're like, we have to get one of these for somebody. It's the cute little unicorn. Seems a little bit sad, and then oh, an angry unicorn. Unbeknownst to me, this little guy's name is Glenda Glitterpoop. Well, guess what else I got for my secret Santa? Recipient. A random book about reindeer poop. Guys, I'm three years old at heart. And then I got some of our favorite cookie dough on the go, edible cookie dough, three varieties of that. And a very special card. I wish I could show it to you. I'm not gonna show you the name of the individual, but it's actually a hilarious story about, I think, Sleeping Beauty. Somehow randomly tied that into Christmas. But because these days, most people have the cameras on their doorbells, it's very hard to get away with a drop and run because you can just go back and check the footage and see who it was. I'm gonna go a little incognito here. All right, guys, I added the hood just to be safe. I don't think they'll be able to identify me unless, of course, they can see that logo. <laughs> This is mostly just supposed to be funny. Let's go make the drop. Now the trick to a successful drop is a clean getaway. I'm gonna leave the car running, I'm not gonna lie. It's very hard to see through this. I see lights on in the house. Let's see how this goes. Probably could have brought a few less things. This is very hard to balance. Okay, here we go. These guys have got an office right there. You gotta check. Nobody seems to be in there. Okay, so now, just gotta avoid detection. I can hear them inside. Really quiet, here we go. I gotta ring the doorbell. Here we go. I'm gonna trip on the way out of here. I gotta move this. Ready, set, go. <laughs> undetected, undetected. I have returned successfully undetected. My hood fell off, which kind of killed some of the vibe of the epicness of this get up. Just thankful that no neighbors called the cops because if you saw this peeking through windows, <laughs> you might be a little suspicious. Perfect drop. Now we just wait for the text in the family thread that says a secret Santa sighting has occurred and then you know it's been received. Tomorrow on Friday, the family's gathering here together. <laughs> you guys can't even hear me. Family's gonna gather here at our house. We're gonna have dinner, reveal our secret Santas, give our actual gifts and all hear the stories of how the different drops went down. Mine will be easy because I got it on video. That is part of the fun in the <laughs> December process is the giving of gifts, some of the sneak attacks, going out and buying Did you tell them what things. I did? No, I didn't actually. Earlier tonight, I drove. It was kind of a long drive. Dropped off a little treat. Are we telling who? No, people will find out because I told them that they were going to have the family party here tomorrow night and then it's we'll kind of reveal so much who fun. had who. But Mindy had to make quite the trek, like almost an hour drive to drop hers off and she did a double drop. Two drops in one. If anybody in the family is watching this vlog, everybody knows who we have now. But so what? It's tons of fun. We're going to reveal it tomorrow. It's going to be so great. So make sure you guys come back. Super fun. Tomorrow we're going to be getting ready for a huge party at our house. We're going to be making 10 gingerbread houses. Whoa. So make sure you come back for that. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Good night everybody. Bye.